Yo, what's up guys? So today's video, it's about King and five habits you guys need to stop doing to improve. So right off the bat, you already know, alley kicks. Gotta cut them out, guys. So let me show you why. So I'm gonna set King up to um, two alley kicks. I did cover this before in a video, but um, doesn't hurt to like repeat yourself, right? Let's just do a single alley kick. I'm gonna try and do like all of the uh, different variations. There are so many of them though. Okay, so I got them set to do like five different variants. That's probably not all of them, but um, I'm gonna try and defend against all of them. Because I know a lot of people just love those alley kicks with King. Just do them all day, right? Lots of free damage in the early ranks, you know, against the computer, maybe even your friends that, you know, just aren't ready to defend against it. And that's okay for now in that beginning phase. But when you start to play like better players, you get launched for it. You see, and it's not even that hard to like defend against. Still can get a launcher. I'm not even looking at the screen. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's it's not a mix-up. Stop doing it. Yeah, on top of it being like launch punishable, pretty much against the entire cast, you can actually low parry the second hits. You know, second hit, third hit, and still block the last hit. But um, if you low parry it, free combo. If you block it and launch, free combo. Just don't do it. Stop doing it. Stop. So the next bad habit is one that it's kind of a universal thing, but you see it a lot with King players, and that's 10 strings, especially uh, this one right here. So um, the one that ends with the grab, lots of damage, right? And I know practicing the game, you know, you're new to King and everything like that, that is quite a bit. And memorizing it, that's a task in and of itself. I understand. I applaud you for being able to memorize that. 10 strings are, um, you know, they're good at beginner phases, but when you come across someone that knows them, not very effective and they're very unsafe, very risky for you. So um, I would just learn them just to learn them because you need to be learning the entire move list anyways, but um, I don't really recommend it. So with King instead, I would do uh, just like the first three hits for the first five hits, because if you look at the uh, frame data here, I know it's probably a little bit too early for a lot of you guys to be studying frame data in the early phases, but it's a lot more safe, a lot less risky. So if the king player that you're going against is spamming 10 strings, okay, you see, once you learn them, they don't change. He only has two of them. He used to have like five or six in previous games, but, um. It's been dumbed down to just two and again, super predictable. Don't rely on them, rely on other methods of play. So alley kick strings and 10 hit combos, not really good things you need to be doing early on, especially. Even if it is getting you to W, they can still come back and bite you when you start to play better players. Before we get into the next bad habit you should stop doing, I wanna give a shout out to today's video sponsor, Street Fighter Duel. Street Fighter Duel is a mobile game that incorporates iconic Street Fighter characters in a massive RPG-like experience. It includes over 40 characters and variants to some favorites such as Trendy Kami and Fashion Sakura. There are also new characters that you can not only face in battle, but also add to your team. Enjoy familiar characters, their classic attacks, and a dope soundtrack while you play. While you're between classes, on break at work, or on the go, this is the perfect game for you. Crush the competition with iconic Street Fighter characters and originals by downloading Street Fighter Duel using the links in the description below. Let me know your favorite team and your current levels for them in the comments.
So I know this next bad habit is gonna rub a lot of you guys the wrong way, but uh, here goes. It's definitely the down plus forward grab multi throws. These are um, used a little bit much. I think they're like the first ones that most King players learn. They're good to know, just just in case you know you're fighting someone that has no idea how to defend against them. But uh, it's a bad habit to start early on because, again, like with all the other things on the list, um, you fight better players, they won't be getting hit by those. So these here, down forward uh, one plus three, or you know, left punch, left kick, or down forward two plus four, right punch, right kick. They have this slow crouch dash, you know, real, real slow. And you can actually react to it and duck. It's not like he can um, change the timing or speed it up or anything like that. So he can get a lot of damage if they don't break and all that stuff. But uh, in higher levels, you definitely won't be able to land this. You can do the, the quicker ones. That's a very good alternative. But these slower ones here, they're just too reactive. So then there's this sidestepping like sway grab he has. It's a little bit tricky, but still very reactive. But you have plenty of time to see him go for this. And if he tries to like cancel it by holding back like this, just tapping back and like going for a mid mix up variant, it's, it's too easy to see. It's not a real viable mix up. So I wouldn't really use it. I would use this as a, like a move to get around stuff because he's instantly ducking when he's doing it. But don't go for the multi throw. Don't go for the multi throw here. Too easy to see. Too easy to react to. And again, you know, if you're gonna use multi throws from the the cross dash, definitely use them from like the actual manual cross dash, not the one where he does it automatically. These are useless, especially the one break like this one here. This one is like criminally bad because. All you have to do is just mash one. You see that? It's initially a one break anyways. But let's say I let him do this right here. Let's mash one. He breaks out of it. So it's not one, not two, but three one breaks in a row. He can't do any other extension. So it's, it's not good to do. Because the opponent can just mash the left jab and break pretty easily on top of it being like super reactable you know we got much time you got slow slow cross dash don't use those don't use those well this other habit that you guys have to stop using as new king players are his slower lows and thankfully for armor king here he has some of the same ones so he has the low drop kick here and so does King, but um, let me actually have him do it, right? So this low here does a good chunk of damage, you know? And on counter hit, um, knocks down like that, where he gets another one guaranteed, or like the, the other low here, the punch. Yeah, he can get that guaranteed, he can get his raise drive guaranteed. So many things guaranteed from that on counter hit. But the only problem is that they're both pretty reactable. So, um, like this low here, reactable and punishable. So I have Armor King because he gets an easy alley kick, 40 damage, you know, alley kick into the tail spin and to a running uh, driver, whatever the move is called. But yeah, don't, don't use that low. It's uh pretty reactable at like an intermediate level, high level. Obviously like super beginners are probably just not going to see it. So I give you the okay, but intermediate play, any higher than that, I don't recommend doing it. It's a bad habit. Don't rely on that low. Same for um, this low punch here. You see 32 frames. That's a huge number, guys. Huge. You see how slow that is? Now it does have plenty of range and decent tracking too. You see the tracking? Pretty nice, but um, so, so slow. You can block it like on reaction. You can low parry it on reaction. And just to show you guys, like those lows aren't like good lows. 
I have them set to do some slow mids, right? So, I'm not going to get hit by it. <laughs> it's not a mix-up. It's too slow. Way too slow. The animations of them are just so telegraphed. Like, super telegraphed. So, um, I got hit on purpose by that, just to see it. But yeah, don't rely on those lows. They're too slow. Too easy to see. And if the opponent knows, like, anything about King, you'll get punished really hard. Just for the sake of the video and the link, I would say that these jabs into the grab are, um, just not recommended. I see a lot of new King players use these and, like, swear by them. You know, they'll use that or uh, 10 strings. Or like the crouch throw there to mix it up. When there is no mix up, the break for all of them is always two. So um, you just hit right punch, you can break out of all of those. So let me try and catch one of where I'm ducking. You see? <laughs> I don't know why this is a thing that um, they never gave him a mix up for. This was a move that was introduced in Tekken 4. So it's been around for a lot of years, more than 10, more than 15. <laughs> but uh, it's it's just never been good. It's never been viable. So those are just a few bad habits that I want King players to stop doing. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already to see more content like this. And let me know in the comments exactly what other bad habits you think King players might need to stop doing. Again, I would like to give a shout out to today's video sponsor, Street Fighter Duel, dope mobile game. Download it using the link in the description below. And if you guys want to see what you should do with King, well, look no further. Check out this video right here.